Hi guys, I'm Dave. This is Beer Virtually. So today I'm out in the garage. It's a little different than my normal uh, back porch shooting location. Um, out in the garage doing a bunch of garage stuff and I was going about to drink a uh, garage beer and I thought what better uh, reason to shoot a video than to review a garage beer. So this is Shipyard Island Time Session IPA. It's an IPA. Um, I would normally drink this out of a can, just because it's that kind of beer. But I figured I'd pour it in a glass. I'm in a refrigerated glass today. It has a nice uh, light golden, almost amber color. Minimal head. Great kind of hoppy, hoppy aroma. Well, let's take a first sip. Very refreshing. You see the colors, great colors, kind of an orangey, slightly cloudy. The hops is very minimal on this beer. It's uh, it's only I think a 40 IBU, four and a half percent alcohol. Not too bad. You can drink, you know, it's maybe a little high for a session beer, but not not too much, not too high. Um, it's an all-day drinker. I mean, you could, you know, you could easily drink six to six plus of these without, uh, without too much problems. Very refreshing. Very clean, crisp. Um, I love grapefruit. I love coconut. You don't get any coconut, but you definitely get grapefruit. And a slight slight bit of pine, almost a hint of pineapple. The flavor profile just kind of hangs out in the middle of those three flavors. It's very good though. It's very, very refreshing. This is a great, you know, I'm hot, need to cool off beer, which is what I'm doing right now. I've been working in the garage all day, working on cars. This is, this is very good. So today, I uh, had a bunch of stuff going on. My mom's in town for the weekend. Her alternator went bad on the way here. So I uh, changed the alternator last night. AC compressor in one of my cars went. Changed that this morning. So it's been a uh, it's been a busy couple of days in the garage. I don't mind being in the garage. The garage is... When I, when I was growing up, I always wanted to have a garage and all the tools. And I got that. I have all the tools. I'm like my buddy Adrian, who doesn't have a 3 ace ratchet. There's you, Adrian. Having the right tools makes all the difference. Let me show you a cool tool. This is from Harbor Freight. This is a 3 8 ratchet on one end and a quarter inch ratchet on the other end. They're reversible, just like, like a gear wrench. It's got about the profile of a gear wrench, but you can put sockets on it. Very, very, very useful tool. I use this all the time. I wish the ratcheting mechanism was a little more robust, but other than that, this is a super, super useful tool. I got this for Christmas about four years ago, and it's my, almost one of my go-to tools if I need to do something quick. Three-eighths, quarter-inch, three-eighths, it's perfect. That paired with... wobble extensions. So, wobble, this is a wobble extension. If you push the socket all the way down, it's, you know, it doesn't wobble. If you pull it up just one click like that, it wobbles. So if you need to get on a slight angle to something, this is, this is ideal. It's almost like one of those universal joints, but it's way less bulky. And uh, I've never had one slip inside the socket or anything like that. It's a very positive mechanism, especially in 3 8 Maybe in quarter inch, they might be a little flimsy, but so like this right here, super useful. You got you got your gear wrench, you got your low profile ratchet. It's thinner than a regular ratchet, um, but you as a result, it's not quite as robust as the mechanism. But this is a great. This is like my go-to between this little this little ratchet and the wobble extensions. What you need. 
I used them a bunch the last couple days. This is great beer. Not too expensive. Nine ninety nine a six pack. It's not as cheap as like Bud Light or something like that, but much tastier. Um, a little more alcohol, probably just a little bit. But you could definitely, you know, you feel good about yourself drinking these. It's a little heavier than a Bud Light or a light beer in general. Um, you'd probably start feeling four or five of these. Probably start to feel a little heavy depending on how fast you drank them. But if you're in, you know, in and out of the heat, and uh, you know, drinking a beer here and there, this is a this is definitely a good choice. Cool can. Just uh, aluminum and green color, a little bit of white. Shipyard Brewing, Island Time Session IPA. Oh, this says IBU 38 on the can. So this has a uh, two row pale cara foam um, malt with Camarilla, Citro, and Simcoe hops. It said it pairs perfect with uh, barbecues. It just has a cup, so I'm guessing just drinking by itself. The sun and music. It's cheap enough; you can drink them pretty quick. Not you don't have, not have to worry about saving them like some of these. You know, some of these beers are five, six bucks a piece. It's a good garage beer. So uh, I'm gonna get back to work. And then uh, a couple minutes, maybe I'll have another beer. Until next time, guys. Cheers.